I mean, they chose Blue Cross and they chose us to be a service to them. And for us to then get to call them as a nurse and talk to them about their health, they're choosing me again to be part of their life. So it's all of their choice and I wanna make sure that they understand that there is someone that cares. And that's what I love about Blue Cross. This gentleman that I had, uh, a member of ours, um, had heart disease. And during this conversation, I noticed that his breathing was just, um, it was very struggled, very labored. And I tried to get off the phone with him. And I said, you know, I can call another time. You're having such great difficulty. And uh, he said, no, Brandy, I need to tell you thank you. And I said, but for what? And he says, for what you've done for me. And I said, but I understand you can't breathe. <laughs> And I said, he goes, I'm waiting on my angels. And I paused and I said, well, I'm gonna call your wife and I'm gonna call your hospice nurse and they're coming. And he goes, just know I thank you. And then about 20 minutes later, I got a phone call from that hospice nurse to tell me that he had passed away. And I knew at that moment that our life here at Blue Cross has more importance than we can ever imagine.